Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will see how we can do the universe development on HANA using the IDT tool. So, how we open up the IDT tool? So, if we go to the Start, All Programs and SAP Business Intelligence, under that we have the Client Tools and from there we can open up the IDT tool. So, let's see how we can do the universe development using the IDT tool. So this is the information design tool which is IDT. So first of all we have to create the new project. So if we go to the file new and project. Here we have to give the name of the project. So this is like a workspace where you will store your resources. So once it is there you can right click and go to the new and here you can create the relational connection or the OLAP connection. So when you create the relational connection, it will connect to the HANA tables. And when you connect through the OLAP connection, it will be through the views in HANA. So let's see how we can create using the relational connection. So again, you have to give the name of the connection here. Let's say if we give the demo test underscore connection. We go next and after that you have to scroll down to SAP and here we have the option of SAP HANA and you can select the JDBC drivers or the ODBC drivers. Here you have to specify the details of your HANA DB. So you have the authentication mode as you can use the single sign on, you can use the specified password and the username and you can use the U BO credentials mapping. So we will use the specified username and the password to connect. So I will go here and I will get the username which is HANA. And after that, I will put the password. So I will go back to the IDT and put the password here. Then we have to give the host name. So my host name is this. And then I have to put the instance number. After that, we'll go next and we will keep these settings as it is and click on finish and I can do the test connection from here and it shows that the test is successful so it means that our connection is successful once you are done with the connection after that you have to create the new data foundation so data foundation is the place where you will define your tables you will connect the joins and after that you will if you want to do any any things like if you want to create any derived table or something so you can do here in the data foundation so let's say if we give the name as demo test df so here it will show you all the tables which exist in your HANA DB so you can expand it and you can see that these are the different tables which we have so let's say if we go here and get some tables like might be the flight transaction and the flight customer and after that if we put the flight connection so here in this now we can join the tables from here in the data foundation if we want so we can do the uh, connection and we can do the joining based upon our requirement so let's say if you want to join anything like might be if I want to join the flight con with the flight con ID. So what I will do is I will go here and I can drag it to the flight con ID. If I will if I will see the expression here so I can see that it is the equi join which is put on this. If I double click on it so I can see that this is the expression which is created for the backend. Here is the cardinality. So we can define the cardinality or we can use the detect to define the auto cardinality. So if we click on detect, it is showing that it is n is to 1. And after that, if we go here, so I can see that these are the different types of joins we can put here. Similarly, if we want to put the shortcut join, we can select this checkbox. If you want to put the left outer, right outer, so you will just select these checkboxes and you will click on OK. After that, you can just save this data foundation or you can click on save all. 
so once the data foundation is built so the next step is to build the business layer so you will click on the new business layer and here you have to give the name and click on finish so automatically it has created the classes and the objects based upon the tables which were there in your data foundation so you can anytime go to any object and you can change it to the to you can change the name you can change the type from dimension to measure or to the attribute after that you can make it active hidden or deprecated based upon your requirement you can change the data type if it has not picked up the correct one after that if you want to see the values you can click on the show values if you want to change any SQL so you can click on the SQL assistance here and you can change your SQL and you can click on the validate so this way you can define your business layer so once you are defined your business layer after that you have to save your business layer and first of all before you want to export the business layer to the BO repository so before that your connection has to be secured so if you go here right click and publish your connection to the repository so let's say if you want to publish your connection so you will click on finish and yes so now you can see that now we have two connections one with the extension CNX and another one with the extension CNS so the CNS one is the secured connection so before you export any business layer to the repository so it has to be built on the secured connection after that we have to repoint our data foundation to the secured connection so we will go to the change connection and we will select this secured one click on finish and then we will save all now I can go to the BLX I right click and go to publish to a repository so uh, here it will ask you if you do if you want to do the integrity checks so you can select them if you can check all or you can uncheck all and click on the check integrity after that click next and here it will ask you where you want to store this universe so let's say I want to store it in the main folder and I click on finish so it says that the universe is published successfully to my repository so this is how you can create the universe based upon the HANA DB and you have used the relational connection you have used the HANA tables and after that you can use this universe to create your reports further so in this tutorial we have seen how we have to create the universe using the IDT tool based upon the HANA DB. Thank you.